Born with rising inflation and worries about the economy, finding ways to save money is top of everyone's mind. But it's not impossible to keep a little extra money in the bank. Financial expert Derek Kinney joins us now. Good morning to you, Derek. Good morning, Cleo. Great to see you. Nice to see you, too. So, Derek, we're talking about four things you should never buy new right now. And you say the first item you should never buy new is a house. Why do you say that? I'd love a new house. Well, and, and that's the key. Because you love the new house, what often happens is you pay too much for the new house, and it actually costs you so much when you buy it, which means you make less when you sell it. So what I have found is if you can buy an existing home, this way you know the neighborhood, you know the neighbors, you know what it looks like, there's less risk to buy it in terms of how the neighborhood might turn out, but you're going to be less tempted to pay for every single upgrade as opposed to you saving money with the used home and then paying for things to get fixed as you can afford them. All right, that makes sense. Now, now let's talk about cars, vehicles. We hear so much about buying used cars, but what if a new car is priced at a discount? Still buy the used one? Well, if you can buy a new car at a discount, I would buy a lottery ticket because you're probably <laughs> going to win because the odds are so few. The bottom line is even if you pay less for a new car, the, the key is the depreciation. The moment that car drives off the lot, 20% off the value mm -hmm. gone like that. And so what you want to do, and again, I'm here to help our viewers, not everybody else, but we want to help take advantage of other people's inability to have delayed gratification. If you can get the used car, let someone else take the depreciation, you save money, you save time, and you're probably going to save money on repairs as well. Mm -hmm. The next item you say to buy used, I found kind of interesting here, jewelry. How do you save money there? Well, bottom line is so many people think about jewelry as it has to be new. They've got to go to the jewelry store. They've got to go somewhere and buy it brand new. The bottom line is we know jewelry has a huge markup, 50%, in some cases, 100% markup. So if you go to a nice jewelry store or even a resale shop, a secondhand store, mm. even online, you can get high quality jewelry that's gently used. And, you know, if you're like me, you buy something new and that day it gets scratched and you're frustrated. Yeah. This way, the scratches are already there. There's less worry, frustration, and you've paid less money to buy it. All right, Derek. This past week, uh, we saw Apple announce new phones, but you say maybe consider buying a used one. How do you do that? Well, so many people have FOMO, fear of missing out. They're in line to get that early adopter technology. The problem is they pay handsomely for it. A new phone might set you back $800 or $1,000. If you wait a year or you buy last year's model brand new, you're getting almost all the features. The camera is almost just as good just as much music, but you're saving several hundred dollars. The bottom line is you can still buy like new, but when you buy it used, you are saving money, which especially right now is what most people want to do. Derek, great insight this morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on Daybreak. My pleasure, Cleo. Great to see you. Thank you.